Hello, I am Adam Navis. I am here with the pleasant as always Liz Wade. Hello, Liz. Hi, Adam. <laughs> we are going to have a real conversation between the two of us, two native English speakers. We are going to talk about the program Shoes of the World. I'm very excited to talk about this program. Uh, if you haven't listened to this program, you can find it on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts, or you can check out, if you haven't been to our website, spotlightenglish.com. You can follow along with the script there. You'll also find a lot of other resources and other programs that you might not uh, discover if you're just on YouTube or listening through the podcast. Uh, if you're interested, as always, make sure when you're on YouTube, you click that join button. That really helps us out, gives you some extra content, some behind the scenes stuff, some early exclusives, and it really is just a great way to support this channel and all the work we're doing. Um, what did I miss? You can follow us on social media, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You guys know the drill. Yeah. Like Instagram, this video, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, we're doing good stuff. So, Liz, Shoes of the World. Yes, this was a program you wrote. Tell us I about. I did write this program. So, um, you know, you think about, and the the program even begins like this. You think about. Well, how complicated does a shoe have to be, right? Right. I mean, it just needs to cover your foot. But, I mean, even if you take away all of the fashion parts of shoes, because, of course, there are, like, I don't know, uh, uh, what are what are some famous uh, shoe brands? I know oh, there are some, um, like, in, in programs like Jimmy, Sex and Jimmy the City. Jimmy Choo. Yes. Uh, those are, like, those are the fashion Yes, oh, we are not. So we are not. Clearly, I am not. Um, I'm not in this shoe fashion world. But yes. there's, there's, you know, expensive shoes and fancy shoes. And even if you take away all of those shoes, even if you don't think about fashion necessarily, right. there's still a lot of different kinds of shoes culturally, which is really mm. interesting to me, which is why I wrote this program. Right. Um, and so this program really, it starts with like a very, to me, funny example of shoes. This shoe, these shoes made of gold, they're literally made of gold and uh, covered in diamonds. And they're like 140,000 pounds or something. Now you mean uh, pounds, just, not in weight, but in Right. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Sorry. Great British pounds. Yeah. Um, and uh, the, the program starts like, would you buy these shoes? Well, I wouldn't. Even if I had that much money, I don't think I would buy those shoes. But um, but then it goes into like different shoes that are culturally <clears throat> around the world. So um, it talks about Klompen from the Netherlands and Babouches from, uh, what is it, Morocco? Oh, I, think I forgot. That's right. Uh, yes, Morocco. Gato, Gato shoes from Japan. Um, there's Padukas from India, and I know I'm forgetting one. Uh, well, anyway, Masami. that's why you listen to the program, right? Yeah. <clears throat> to find out about those shoes. So, yeah, really going through all of those shoes and why they are. Oh, and the Sami boots. Yeah. The boots from of Finland. the Sami people. Um, and really finding out like how culture has influenced shoes and how shoes maybe have just become part of what a culture is. Yeah. So Adam, uh, are you a shoe guy? Do you like <laughs> wearing shoes? I well, mean, not wearing them, but like, you know, that, collecting that is a them, great, having different That kinds. is a great question. So we have a, we have a spotlight program that I wrote about sneakers, right? Oh, yes. Sneakers yeah. and collecting sneakers. And around about that time, I, I am not, here's here's a um, an English idiom, a okay. clothes horse. Oh, right. That is a, so a clothes it, horse, like where you, where you like enjoy collecting and like yes. displaying your clothes, either yes. like you enjoy, uh, you enjoy your clothes or on your body. Right. I don't know why it's called a clothes horse, but whatever. I don't have a lot of clothes in my closet. Most, my wife and I share a closet. Most of it, the space goes to her. I'm happy with what I have. But I uh, bought a pair of shoes because I always, my sneakers, 
So sneakers are a very casual, sporty shoe. I, they were always old running shoes. And I thought, I'm going to buy a pair of sneakers. So right. Now, and I do, I do think, if you don't mind, Adam, I want to like, this is an interesting English thing because in uh, UK English, these, was, these would be trainers, right? Mm -hmm. So sneakers is the word that is really most popular in the U.S., or tennis shoes, sneakers or tennis yeah. shoes. But these could also be, these are trainers in the right. UK maybe. So before I show you my- Are they Air Jordans? No, no, no. Okay, but I have to, oh, I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna give you a quiz. Oh God, okay. Okay, so there were two brothers who were in Germany. Okay, yep. Do you, okay, and they had a shoe company and then they had a fight. And they broke up into two separate shoe companies that are now global brands. Okay. Do you know what they are? Well, one is Adidas. Correct. Um, which is uh, really technically Adidas. Yes, which right? is what you're going to see from me. Oh, man. Um, if you know, write it in the comments. Write it in the comments. Ooh, this is a good one. We'll tell, I'll, I'll show the shoes. Yeah, and this then is we'll like tell you what the other. I I mean, like I don't. I should know what the other one is. All right, I give up. Okay. Well, well, I'll tell. I'll show you my shoes. So the first pair I got with these gray with the black stripes. Okay, this they was the first. Like, they look like Vans. They're not Vans. Don't call them Vans. <laughs> they look like Vans. <laughs> They're not Vans. Okay, and then I decided, so you know what? <laughs> I'm. This is going to be my thing. Liz, so I got... this is not Vans. I got maroon. Ooh, fancy. Okay, now I'm going to show you out of order. Okay. Okay, so this is these are my next... We're getting into really good ones. You did get a lot of shoes, Adam. All right, so we have kind of a gray with the blue. Yeah, I like that one. Nice, it's nice, classy. nice. All right, so this is... I'm showing you... I'm going to show you my latest one that I got for my birthday, and then I'll show you the best one. Wow, this is actually not like you. Whoa! I know. <laughs> bright red oh. now the greatest i've only worn these three times they are so special okay okay oh that i feel like is that like the classic adidas i don't know i feel like that no 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 the classic one is just black but for some reason those colors to me feel like they are like the classic like 80s version or yeah. something. So there was a, ch a children's book called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Very Day. Very Bad Day, yes. And part of what he does, he has to go buy some shoes that are not what he wants, right? He had to buy plain old right. white shoes. So uh, part of the reason I feel so special in these is because they're white and they will get dirty. So I try to keep them very special. That um, is true. But of course, uh, the these are not... Uh, American shoes. These are kind of a global. So some some shoe companies yeah. really go around the world. They're not. I don't think people think. Oh, this is a German company, or you know, it's a it's a very right, big company. right. So if you haven't written in the comments, the other shoe company now is Puma. Puma. I Puma. don't think I knew that. I mean, I know I know Puma shoes. Yeah. So they were two brothers, and they each really? started a shoe. The, yeah. Huh. In the same city, in Germany, and if you know the city, I don't. I don't know the city, but if you're in Germany and you're watching this, let us know. Yeah, I don't know. Was it a big German city like Berlin or Hamburg Probably. or something? Probably. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's great. Uh, so, Liz, I showed you my shoes. When you think shoes, do you mm -hmm. have a specific, like, if you were a country, would you have a shoe? Would you? Um, have a I feel like. Probably like if like me personally or like mm -hmm. the U.S. Because I personally. feel like the U.S. we might be like a high heel. <laughs> Don't yeah. you think? Yeah. Like just like fancy on the outside, but like super uncomfortable. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> uh, yeah. I think you're talking. You're you're editorializing a little there, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> um. um yeah. yeah, I don't really wear heels. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I kind of like. I like a plain shoe. Yeah. So, I mean, I do actually. If I am going to buy a pair of shoes, 
it's probably now that I'm older and, you know, like my yeah. legs start hurting if I walk too long, <laughs> I buy more comfortable, expensive shoes. Yeah. So even if I buy a pair of nice shoes, like, I don't know, they're going to probably be more expensive. Yeah. Um, but I don't think there's like a cultural shoe so much from the U.S. I have worn uh, Geta before. Oh, yeah. Like from Japan. Those are really interesting. Yeah. Um, Because, you know, like, uh, I love this from the program that they can go on either foot. Oh, okay. Because they're, it's like a V in the middle of a block of wood. Right. And it, uh, yeah, it still goes between your, like, first and second toe. Okay. But it's just offset a little. Interesting. Well, yeah. that, that brings up an interesting question, that if you would travel to a place like Japan... Would you bring those shoes back and wear them? Like, would you would you buy them as a functional piece, as a fashion yeah. piece, or just as a souvenir? I probably would not because they are very uncomfortable for me personally. Okay. I mean, it's just a block of wood. This is like the Padukas in this program, too. I will tell you what, though. I would buy a pair of those boots uh, from the Sami. Oh, yeah. I would wear those. Those seem pretty functional. Yes. I love that. Like they're made out of like that because the Sami are from the the north. Right. Um, so they have very cold weather and they raise reindeer and then make boots out of the reindeer skin. Um, but I have, um, you know, sometimes I like to travel with my family. And a couple years ago, we went to the Netherlands, okay. which I do have um, some Dutch ancestry in my in my ancestry so um it's a little bit you know like uh my grandparents some of them came over from the netherlands um and so it wasn't necessarily a trip where we visited places like that but you know it's always fun and uh i'm sure that uh, people know what shoe is associated with the netherlands and it is the klompen ah. or clogs so I do actually, we came back with a pair, here I'll hold them in the correct hands. Um, we pay, came back with a pair of clumpin, and I don't, I mean, I don't have gigantic feet, but these do fit my feet. Yeah. Um, you're now, supposed to wear them. You should tell people what those are made out of, because it's an oh, unusual yeah. okay, material. So this is made out of one solid piece of wood. Um, usually I think a softer wood, you can hear it. Hello? Um, no, but so we saw them actually make these shoes um, on a machine that was basically like a spoon that was like on a machine and it would um, it would just scooped them out, huh. like scooped the wood out, shaped it on the bottom. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you know, they, they dry it out so that the wood is nice and dry and then they paint it. And this is a this is a. Uh, typical sort of paint design or whatever in um in the netherlands uh but yeah you're supposed to wear it with a very thick sock right. and uh have about two fingers of space behind here so that you don't get blisters and you can wear these shoes like outside and um yeah just... i had i had always heard that they were made of wood so that they would float I think that might be an urban legend. Or a, I think that might be like that is true. But why would they why would they need a float? Because they're in the Netherlands. They're they're below sea level. No, I think it's because um like they're they're good for like going outside and like if you drop a tool on your foot. Oh, it's, it's like not a steel toed boot, you. but uh wood Right. So well, maybe it has multiple a... if you're watching this from the Netherlands. Yeah. Please. Who's right? Who's right? Me or Adam? <laughs> In all things. <laughs> it's, it's you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But um, I don't really typically wear these. So they're more for decorative or... Yeah, they're more decorative. And, yeah. you know, they're just for fun. Yeah. So, well, if you want to anyway. let us know your favorite brand of shoe, your favorite kind of shoe... Uh, your favorite, if your country has a particular shoe that was not in this program, leave a comment below this video on YouTube or on our website, 
and we'd love to hear. We we look at all those comments. We try yes. to respond to as many as we can. And I will say, um, if you are a member, we always respond to your comment. For always. Sure. Members, uh, we try to respond to as many as we can, but uh, members always get uh, get a response to their comments. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like we said, follow us on social media. Check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, and the website. Um, and make sure you are subscribed, of course, because we mm -hmm. are coming out with new content all the time. We are having new ways of helping you practice your English, and you don't want to miss those. So uh, until next time, we hope you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out. Mm -hmm.